Hi guys, I'm Arifa and I'm an introvert. Hi guys, I'm Rosie and I'm an ambivert. Someone who is really loud, friendly, and gains a lot of energy when they are in a group of people. My perception of an extroverted person. Um, they're usually the ones who vibe off of other people's energies. And I feel like for them it'll be easier in like social settings. Um, they make friends quite easily, I would assume. Uh, yeah, that's the basic extroversion. Yeah. Someone who is really shy, um, sometimes awkward, and um, gets really quiet where they're in a group of a lot of people. Um, an introvert perception, they're more on the quieter side and they draw their energy from alone time. So what I've come to realize over the years, it's not an either or thing, it's a spectrum. So you have like extroversion on one side and you have introversion on the other side and you can be anywhere within the spectrum. And someone who is very, like not everyone is as like extremely introverted or not everyone is extremely extroverted. It depends on like where you are on the spectrum. That's that's what I believe now. <laughs> because what I've realized um, growing up in high school and everything, I was really I was really an introvert. Like I didn't I didn't know how to handle social settings and everything, but. Over the years, I've realized I'm becoming more of an ambivert. I like drawing energy from having certain people around me. At the same time, I like um, alone time. Yeah. I don't think that's entirely true because yeah, they talk a lot and they probably get along with tons of people but I always find that a lot of extroverts have an introverted friend and me myself, right, my best friend is extrovert, right? She's the type of person who would drag me to parties, would push me to go and try things and someone who wasn't, like at that time I was really introverted, I was Scared. What? And in a way, I balanced her out. And yeah, I don't think they form meaningless bonds. <laughs> uh, because um, some extroverts, they can have a lot of friends. Yes, they make good friends with a lot of people. But they are also able to make deep connections when there's people that they're able to connect with and have the same wavelength as them. Um, I disagree because um, introverts can communicate well if they are able to find a style that is suited for them in order to interact with the other person. I think introverts can make a good leader because communication skills is something you can learn over time. Like I said, I was, I used to be an introvert. Uh, I've slowly come out of my shell and I'm more extroverted now, but not as introverted. But what I've realized and what my dad actually taught me is that communication is a skill. So you learn how to communicate with people. And whether it's someone who you just met or it's someone you've known for a long time, communication is something you can work with because you have conflict resolution skills, uh, you have to, it's your way of getting an idea across, right? And yeah, I think it's something you can learn. And actually, if I'm not mistaken, a lot of the notable leaders are considered as introverts.
don't know. They probably hate certain people. Uh, it really depends on the kind of people they're meeting. Because I mean, you have all sorts of characters, right? I mean, if you guys vibe together and you guys somehow make friends, I don't think they're gonna hate you. Like, I mean, I'm, I didn't used to hate my best friend growing up. <laughs> so yeah, I don't think they hate people. They probably would get annoyed if you, if, if your introvert is a book, is a reader and she's in a book or and they are consumed by the story and then you try to talk to them and they're gonna hate you. Just just for that period. Yeah. Um introverts don't hate people in my opinion but um, they are more open when they, they start to become comfortable with someone. But they get drained really easily when they're socializing with a lot of people. So it's that could be the reason why people perceive that we don't really like people as much. Yeah. Extroverts hate being alone. I don't think that's true. So one of my friends who, like I said, uh, this is a different friend from uni and she's an extrovert. Like, she's really out there, she really likes to talk to people. She makes friends with like old aunties to like young kids and She's like forever making new friends. She also says she needs some time alone. Maybe not all the time. Like she lo like if we were to go out, uh, if I was, I have an introverted friend who we used to do this thing where we used to go out for uh, coffee and we could sit and just be silent and not have to make conversation, right? But if we brought this friend along, she'd feel awkward in that, so she need to talk and make conversation. Hello there. But she also, I remember her telling me that she also needed time alone to recuperate, like to, she likes that space alone once in a while. So she's not as extremely extroverted as, like I think everyone likes their space. Okay. That's all. Thank you so much.